Good morning, Belvedere. Mayor Mike here. I hope you're having a peaceful morning. It's beautiful outside, and it's going to get real hot today. I have special guests this morning. I have uh, Jamise Hyatt and Edward Robinson from the Belvedere Social Justice and Peace Society. And they have a story to tell because we're going to be doing something together, uh, not this weekend, but the following weekend, which I think is something that's going to be important for our community now and into the future. So without further ado, Jamise. Hi, I'm Jamise Hyatt, one of the members of the admin team and the Belvedere Social Justice and Peace Society. I'm so excited for our solidarity walk that we will be having on June 27th at 9.30 a.m. The society hopes to bring education and to bring the community together on different events and um, our cultural beliefs. Um, yeah, we're here to just bring the community together and bridge the gap um, between our law enforcement officers, city officials, and the community as a whole. Um, if we would unite together, um, we can bring change in the community for the greater good moving forward. Um, we are here now to talk about Juneteenth and, um, and today's importance uh, in African American culture and our history. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so uh, first, uh, we would like to talk about the history. Um, it began um, because of the Civil War, uh, the Emancipation Proclamation. Um, so it started in 1861. And that's because the Southern states wanted to succeed, and therefore the war began. In 1863, um, January 1st, uh, Abraham Lincoln actually declared and issued the Emancipation Proclamation freeing the slaves in the Southern states. Um, however, some states that were border of the Union, uh, then they were actually not free until after the war was over in 1865. In 1865, an enslaved group of people were informed that they had been free. They did not know that this, that this had happened two years prior. We believe that Juneteenth is a honorable commemoration and holiday that needs to be recognized. But just now in 2020, companies like JCPenney, NFL, and Target are recognizing it as a national paid holiday. The Belvedere Social Justice and Peace Society would like to bring this type of education and knowledge to our Belvedere community. We believe that a holiday like Juneteenth should be recognized so that everyone can, re can remember the freedoms that they have and that we all enjoy. And I would concur. Um, you know, we are so much more alike than we are different in this country. And for in this day and age, for there to be the rise once more of social violence among people who are all Americans is unacceptable. And when the Peace Society came and, and visited with us, uh, we've had a series of meetings over the last three weeks, and I will tell you what, they've been very open and revealing and positive in nature. And the key word is positive. Going forward, we are going to have a series, usually on a quarterly basis is what we've talked about, about having meetings with the police chief and the mayor and whomever else would like to participate to understand outlooks of everyone in the community because we are a community of peace, we are a community of law and order. We are a community of faith. And all of those things really dictate a community that is safe for all of the residents that live here. And that going forward, we can always do better. And I think that that is kind of the mantra uh, that we've all been talking about, is how do we do better? Uh, when these folks came to visit with us, uh, instead of just showing up and having it, an event that was unscheduled with anybody in the city aware of it and having that turn into some of the things that have turned into in other communities, we wanted to make sure that, and they wanted to make sure that this was a peaceful event that we could all walk away from feeling better about Belvedere and about all of us. And we really bought into that big time. And the reality is, we can't prevent interlopers and those who just find fault with everybody and everything uh, from showing up. But what we can do is not respond in kind. And we can pre prevent, present a united front of saying this is the way that we do things in Belvedere, not this way. And by doing that and having us all join together with the pastors in the community and, 
and people of color throughout the community. And, and I have, I still, and watch me grin when I say this, but we're all people of color. Some just have more pigment than others. <laughs> and, you know, so it's still a color, right? So a lot of the catchphrases that I've lived through in my life and that I've heard are just really silly. And when you, you put that body of silliness out there and find out that what it's really about is who lives next door, who's your neighbor? Do you know your neighbor? And in today's world, we spend so much time with digital communication that we don't communicate. And so this is a way to communicate as a community. And I'm looking forward to it and I think it'll be a wonderful event. And it will be a peaceful event and we will we'll all grow from this and move forward. Would you guys want to add anything else? Or? Uh, yes, we would just like to um, thank the city, the mayor, and the law enforcement officers um, for your taking the time to be transparent with us and giving us the opportunity um, to let the, city, uh, the voices of the community be heard. Um, a lot of times, the community members feels like uh, we can't approach the city officials or law enforcement officers, but that's not the case in Belvedere. Um, they have an open door policy, so if you ever have any issues, they are more w more than willing to listen um, and try to resolve things if you are patient and have the uh, dedication and focus it needs to see something through for the long term. And I believe uh, the Belvedere Social Justice and Peace Society, with the help of the mayor and law enforcement officers, um, can make that happen. Well, that's it for this morning. Um, and again, I, w I would mention that this is going to be a week from tomorrow, the 27th. We will meet at the community building uh, at 930. And please join us if you're willing to look at a different way and to bring us all closer together instead of push us further apart. Thanks. Have a great weekend. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.